it's a, a huge moment. The fans were in the stands going nuts. Kneeling on gold tasseled purple pillows, Jimmy Johnson and his Hendrick Motorsports team kissed the yard of bricks, even if his young daughter chose not to. The driver of the number 48 Lowe's Chevrolet dominantly won his fourth race at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, tying his childhood hero Rick Mears at the legendary track. With Sunday's victory in the 19th annual Crown Royal presents the Curtis Shaver 400 at the Brickyard. The five-time cup champ led 250 of the 400 miles and crossed the line a full five seconds ahead of second place finisher Kyle Busch, prompting the post-race comment he wasn't just in his own time zone, he was in his own country. The India win was the eighth for Hendrick Motorsports, the only organization with more than three. I knew second or third lap yesterday on the track that we're going to have an awfully good chance at winning. And, um, you know, the, that confidence that I had helped us through through practice yesterday. There were a couple moments where maybe an adjustment didn't work and lost a little pace, but I just I had a feeling and I, I just knew we were going to be fine and uh, we qualified well and then went out there today and, and put it on him. Bush's first top five since Charlotte in May, as well as his best Brickyard 400, may signal a turnaround for the Joe Gibbs Racing team. Good effort by the whole M&M's team. Uh, I'm proud of them and um, you know for the last the eight weeks that we've had. Um, you know, we've, we've run well, we just have not been able to close out the deal and finish where we've been running, so this was a good day to be able to do that. Third place finisher Greg Biffle matched his best Brickyard 400, notching his fifth straight top 10 in Indy, despite battling a loose 3M Ford for most of the day. Toward the end of practice, we put a different package in our car that seemed like it had pretty good speed on the lap tracker, but was a little bit free, and we thought that might be good for today if it was, uh, you know, going to need a, you know, the car to turn, so uh, we decided to race that package and just, just really loose all day. Dale Earnhardt Jr., who started the race 20th, rallied for a fourth place finish. Badly needing a win, Jeff Gordon complained that track position held him to a fifth place effort. Full sitter Denny Hamlin drove to sixth, followed by Ryan Newman in seventh and Mark Truex eighth. Earnhardt now leads the NASCAR Spring Cup Series standings by 14 points over Matt Kenseth after the Roush Fenway driver was involved in a late race incident with Joey Logano that left him 35th. Biffle remains third, 22 markers behind Earnhardt. Johnson is fourth, 27 behind the leader, and now tied for wins at three with Tony Stewart and Brad Keselowski. Hamlin rounds out the top five on the roster, 64 points out of the top spot. Next week, the NASCAR Spring Cup Series heads east for the Pennsylvania 400 at Pocono Raceway, Sunday, August 5th.